Today on the Umsu News Desk, an update on Umsu Fest 2010. Security services could be locked out by administration, and the Bison woman soccer coach resigns. I'm William Jordan. And I'm Carolina Vasilica. Welcome to the Umsu News Desk. Umsu Fest 2010 has released a tentative schedule which you can check out on the Umsu Facebook page. Every morning during the week, expect the Umsu tradition of pancake breakfast outside the Umsu office from 8 to 10. And Banatang campus will also have cultural performances around lunchtime with a free lunch as well. Doc Walker is taking the stage on Thursday, September 9th at 2.45 p.m. And co-headliner Fred Penner is taking the stage on Friday, September 10th at 2.45 p.m. Saturday, September the 11th is the Bison Homecoming Game and the Umsu Boat Cruise on the MS River Rouge. Later that week, expect art workshops, culture performances, and a day of recreation with Bison Sports. Speaking of Bison Sports, the Bison Women's Soccer Coach, Walter McKee, has resigned as the team's head coach due to medical reasons. With a winning record and two playoff berths, McKee's best season was when they placed third in the conference in 2007, falling in the semi-finals. Prior to working with Bison Sports, McKee earned his Bachelor of Physical Education at the U of M in 1972. He also played on two Vanier Winning Cup Bison football teams in 1969 and 1970. And finally, security services are on the verge of being locked out of their offices by administration due to disputes over staffing levels during bargaining. U of M security services have voted against the contract with the final decision being rendered at 7 p.m. tonight. With more on this story, we go to Heather Loeb. So when I think of security services, I mostly think of them, you know, making sure that when I'm walking, you know, home to my car late at night, I'm not going to get beaten up. Or if something bad does happen to me, they're going to show up. But what else are they doing on campus beyond that? Uh, well, my um, experience with security services has been in a number of ways. Uh, so everything from uh, response time to, for emergency vehicles, such as fire trucks and um, ambulances, to training of um, RAs, DONs, and nurses on campus with nonviolent crisis intervention courses. So they, they do a number of things uh, on campus to make sure everyone here is safe and secure. And it seems like a big uh, issue for them or a point of contention is not uh, monetary or money, but it's actually the amount of people that they have working. Can you expand on that or what, what are they trying to ask from the university in that respect? Well, I, I know um, from a student's perspective that uh, if you've been on campus um, lately that we see the university expanding around us. So um, with the university expanding, we should also be looking at expanding our security with uh, demographic about 36,000 individuals in regular session. We should be looking at um, uh, making sure that those minimum levels are, are enough to cover campus and, and cover it securely. And what is UMSU doing right now in terms of all of this? Well, the students are, are making sure that the, the students are well informed about the issue and, and anyone that comes in with questions, we, we fill them in as the best as we can. Uh, everyone has been pretty accommodating in letting us know what has been going on. So uh, we hope to hear more soon through uh, the reconciliation talks. Um, through UMSU Council, it was also approved uh, that we start a committee um, made up of university um, students as well as council members, students at large, um, to talk about the issue through the Campaign and Government Relations Committee. So everyone that is um, passionate about the issue or want to learn more about um, lockouts or uh, labor relations, they can come out to Campaign and Government Relations and we can help them understand, or if they want to get involved, we can help them do that too. Thanks for talking with us, Heather. Just a reminder that Umsu Vision will be out filming the upcoming events in Umsu Fest. If you see me with a microphone, come and say hi. They're letting you out of the studio? Finally, you got to have all the fun. I remember fun. Once again, for the Umsu News Desk, I'm Carolina Vasilica. And 
he's William Jordan. We'll see you next week.